Shield Hero Season 2 was one of the greatest disappointments since The Promised Neverland. I couldn't control myself from dropping it and putting it in my list with all the other garbage. The Isekai genre is so heavily saturated with all the authors funneling each other's ideas over and over again. These are all Isekai protagonists. Tell me, look me dead ass in the eye and tell me that's not the same nigga. By the way, if you don't know what an Isekai is, Isekai is a subgenre that means traveling to another world. There are hundreds and thousands of Isekai that just release the same story but change one tiny detail. Here are my personal favorites. In another world as a MILF. In another world with a phone. In another world with a slime. And in another world with a slime. And in another world with a slime. Though technically Shield Hero is just another one of these clones, it has other aspects that make it unique enough to stand out in the mosh pit of Bullshit. The first season in my opinion was actually kinda good. The story was engaging and interesting. It was the story of a guy losing everything and slowly but surely regaining respect from the world that despises him. Then there was the fact that he could only use a shield as a weapon, meaning that he wasn't stupidly overpowered. I have no hate to overpower protagonists, but for some reason the Izakai genre just can't do it fucking correct. Of course the show is still generic, but what makes season 1 truly great was a character called Multi. AKA the bitch. Hey, she is the antagonist of season 1 and the reason why everybody hates Naofumi, the main character. She accuses him of essay. By essay, I mean ripping that virginity out of her. Oh, hell no, man. What the but he didn't do it, so free my guy Naofumi. She also happens to be the king's daughter, so he gets thrown out with no gear and has to go from rags to riches, baddest bitches. <laughs> But the biggest problem with season 2 is that Multi gets dealt with in the first season, leaving the barren wasteland that is the Shield Hero universe. I did not know that the show was so reliant on the hatred for Multi that without her, there's just nothing. It's just another generic isekai. Shield Hero as a whole is generic, but season 2 doesn't even have a pinch of uniqueness. I was watching season 2 weekly and every single fucking week I was disappointed. I would watch an entire episode, my face literally would not change. It's not bad, but it's not good, it's just so boring. The first season though, still very generic, had something to get people invested in, whereas this season, I couldn't give a fuck about any of the characters. Going back to the OP thing, Shield Hero has OP moments but he isn't just flat out OP. I think it's really hard to do a flat out OP character and do it well. But let's get into the... <laughs> the succulent meat of the video. I'm going to be speedrunning episode 1 to 13 of Shield Hero Season 2 and finding any tiny bit that remotely interests me. There won't be a lot because the show's a snore fest, but we'll see. Last season ended with Neofumi buying an entire town of furries for Raftalia, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, nothing really happens in this episode except some random green haired girl gets kicked out of the bow hero's party and I'm supposed to care for some reason. And then there's this. And show me that chest of yours. Raftalia. Yes? It's a good idea, but I'm not gonna force anyone else to be my slave. Bro, what? What am I hearing? Set my people back 300 years. By the way, I don't usually watch anything in dub, but I have to watch it in two times speed and dub because it's the only way it's entertaining. There's no way I'm re-watching it and sub again. Fuck that. There's a lot of talking, but nothing's being said. So they're just waffling and then they feel Ichigo's spiritual pressure. Bro, look at this guy. He looks like he's from a PS1 game. Need I say more? Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> then they gay mend his bitch ass in the first episode he appeared in. The disrespect that. So apparently the turtle was still alive. Nigga ain't got no head but he's still alive somehow, so they have to go inside of his body to stab hey, his heart. Yo. But that happens at the end of the episode so dead ass, the entire other 19 minutes was just nothing. Bro, what? Look at the animation, that looks like it was made in paint. If you ever have to watch a bad show, watch it two times speed and dub. To remind me of being back home, please know I mean that in the worst way. Oh cool. Too bad I don't care. Ah, the CGI turtle's back. Oh, your bro smell like... Graham crackers? No. It smell like 10 cans of bounce that ass. That's what it smell like. Bounce that ass? <laughs> 
So for some unknown reason, the turtle escapes CGI purgatory and is now blessed with mediocre animation. Damn, Ichigo's back and his spiritual pressure is even stronger. So the untalented green-haired bitch, with just 1% of her power, is able to take the pressure. Green-haired girl is a menace. I take all the bad things I said about her back. She was told to stay with the dying woman and she says no, I'd rather just be fighting with you guys and she leaves the woman to die alone. Oh yeah, and Raph Tali has become a child again. The guy's called the shield hero, but he doesn't block with his shield. Like, nigga, that's all you got. Damn, it's episode 7, halfway there. Time to add another questionably aged slash questionably sized character to our group. This episode was especially bad. I honestly don't know what they were thinking. They just have the main characters trading for like 15 minutes, like that Logan Paul a year ago selling Pokemon cards. <laughs> Then Naofumi and his questionably aged gang have to leave Raftalia behind. <laughs> Deadass, nothing interesting happened in this episode. Apparently Raftalia can cut the magic out of people, but that shit don't look like magic bro, what the fuck, hey yo, <laughs> call Lana Rhodes. Okay, hear me out, I'm not a physicist, I don't know trigonometry in that, but like, if she stabs forward, how is she cutting the two things on each side of her? She's about to get owned, but Naofumi pulls up at the last second. You see, I'm a sucker for saves in anime. Like, if you're about to die and then some guy pulls up to save you, bro. 10 out of 10, straight away. Not gonna lie, I don't understand the point of this other than to get a backstory of a villain I don't care about. They bring in a new challenger to fight the gang, but she ends up being talk no jitsu with ease. She goes on and on about how passionate she is about this cause, but she flips 180 style super fast. Also, we're basically in the endgame now. Destruction and shit. The sky's purple. Pretty cool. I don't know what the hell happened to Naofumi in this episode, but he was on smoke. He drank like a gallon of Silla Artois. Bro was shouting equal rights, equal fights. He just couldn't stop beating on women this entire episode, I don't even know man. But after a bit he sobers up and decides to do a friendship beat with all his underage friends. I need to stop joking about that man. This was actually a good episode, I'm not gonna lie. Not just because women were being beaten, but because it was actually entertaining. So they beat the final boss last episode, so this episode kind of feels like filler. Then they tried to sneak in this weird scene like they're slick. I can't show it on YouTube, but yeah, it was weird. This episode was like the beach episode in every slice of life or romance anime. <gasps> now I know why the animation was so bad sometimes. It was all for Raftalia's lips. Raftalia's lips! So they say goodbye to the bitch they left for dead earlier, and that's basically how it ends. Thoughts? I don't really have any, I'm pretty stupid, but I'll give the anime about a 6 out of 10. The first season is so much better. I hate Multi, but I also love her because she made the first season. And if you were offended about anything in this video, then I was joking. Also, I know I was being a hater this entire video, but I do like the Shield Hero franchise. The first season was amazing, and I hope in the third season they actually make something good, because this was not it. I'm not gonna lie, but this was not it. If you enjoyed the video, please, please like and subscribe. It will mean a lot to me, and I also won't take 7 months to make the next video like I did this time.